Welcome back everyone. Uh, as you can probably see on the table that I have made out of a fridge, I've got 28 fridge motors, which I plan to take the tops off and retrieve all the copper, all the cast alloy that's in them, and any aluminium besides the steel casings. So I will be using a grinder, we'll be putting a pair of gloves on and that sort of thing. Um, I'll probably be doing a bit of a time lapse of me cutting it open and pulling it all apart. But I'll show you what I've got at the end, how much I've got out in steel, how much I've got out in cast iron, uh, all that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, yeah. I didn't think I'd have this many, but I've already got two and drained all the oil out, taken all the copper off that I need to take off from the out exterior. Some of them may have a little bit of copper inside, but not usually. They're usually just steel pipe inside. I did notice one there that may have a copper inside, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, I suppose better get two, get it all done. Get this project on the right.
Right, then the last one, take the copper out of the bottom. Take the copper out of the top. Clean the top of this off. And then take all the copper out of the rest. This one I couldn't get the grinder down there, so uh, I thought oh, I'll just cut it out with these. Good bit of copper. Right, the last bit up the top here. That gets the whole lot. Now that's all of our casings done. We're got to bring all the motors and everything up here and actually get all the uh, windings off next. That's the next task. Uh, there may be, because we've got cast, uh, not cast, I'll get it right in a minute. It's cast castings. Um, on these there's no aluminium there may be an odd piece of aluminium like on the top of this one here there's an odd piece of aluminium on the top uh, a little bit of plastic but mainly if I can separate the cast away from the the stator which is your centerpiece because um, the centerpiece is just going to go in with the steel anyway um, I've had this on the cars this Trying to get these done for a long time. Uh, I just haven't had a the time to do it. I thought, bugger, I'm making the time, get it done, get them out of the road. So that's 28 done with the casings. Now on taking all of the copper windings with the uh, metal piece off. It's only a matter of undoing some bolts and that sort of thing. So go through as a process, you sort of thing. So yeah, but um, I'm certainly liking this fridge being as a table. So easy to clean down, sweep it off, blow it off with the air, get the air. That's easier. Air compressor will probably kick in soon. There still is a lot of oil residue in these <clears throat> not much I can do about that uh, now when it comes down to how many wheels I actually used on that <clears throat> I probably won't use many to do the copper I'll probably only use probably three or four maybe five there's a fair bit there and I've got some over here I've got to do too uh, but it's not to do with fridge motors but it's to do with transformers and um, a few other things like that there's a few motors in there so I'll probably add that in with this and do all the whole bunch of uh, cutting the copper out uh, like I was saying but anyway what I was trying to explain this wheel here I can still use a lot of these I'll still use they still not wore right out that one is so I'll go through and count up how many we've got how many I can reuse how many I can't reuse those three there I can reuse a little bit. Um, you get down to a certain area and you can actually use little ones like that. I like using them all the way down to that middle. Get your money's worth. Like that one there. He's a bit out of round. Uh, so we used one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten, eleven, twelve. And we'll count these 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I've started on a new one. So, and I only buy these ones um, because they're cheap. So, and I'll buy them in a, they're in a pack of 10. They're only about oh, six or seven dollars. So it is worthwhile, you know, for six and seven dollars for what you're going to get out of in the copper, because copper prices are pretty good at the moment, as far as I know. 
um, and then it comes down to your aluminium that comes out of it, or even though it is number two copper, because it's been encased in oil all this time, they can never ever get it out unless you melt it down, and yeah, but you've got to take all the strings off too, so it's best if you can, uh, but all of our cast, we'll just put that aside, put that put over, um, but see, I think the pistons in these are a aluminium, there's an aluminium rod right there on that one, so yeah, there's still a little bit of steel, like in this piping, all your bolts are steel, uh, what else is there, I might even be able to find a bit more copper, copper piping, like that piece there, no, that's a steel piping, so you can go straight over there, so yeah, that's not too bad, I've always found scoring around the edge of those first, right, trying to get a little bit of a start on it, go around a couple of times if you can, it doesn't wear your wheel out as quick either. So we've got a fair old task to go through getting that out. It won't be that hard, I don't think. I think I've picked on some good ones. So we will only need a tech gun for the most of it and we will pull them apart so stay tuned and uh, we'll get to and get them done let's get into these I suppose no point like the present day it's a lot of goodies I actually had a break and uh, got them all out of there thought oh well, we'll do it this way now we will need that one for this just taking the windings off at the moment. Oh, don't you dare do that. I've got one more to go there, haven't I? Ice grips. Oh, cookie over here, bloody laughing at me. Strip the head on it. Good on him. Oh, I'm going to bugger the head right up if I'm not careful. Get out of the way. Off with the grinder. Keep it close and handy. Right, that windings is off. We better get another bucket for those. This should do. Because we're gonna pull them apart yet. We're just getting the windings off, do a process, go through, get all the windings off. That's the easiest way. Uh, that into there. Go to the next one. Uh, what will we need there? We'll need the next one down, which is I think of that one, no. Uh, maybe this one. No. Ah. That one? Yes, that one. Down there, go for this little fella. He's a different size again, they're all different, never ever the same. I wish they were, but anyway, I'm not complaining. Got all the goodness in front of me, all what I need to do to get it apart. I hope get that out of the road. That one won't fit. I'll keep that what I've tried. That one won't, that one may not. I hope I've got it. I hope I've got the right size. That's, that might be a six mil. No, I haven't got a six mil. That's eight, nine. I'll try this one. Oh, we got it.
Off with his head. So this one, that's those tech bits, the talk bits, I should say, these things. Do, 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 do. My guess is that one. My guess was right. Oh, where's the next one? Come on, there's more than one, surely. Down there. Plastic. Fantastic plastic can come off. In the trash. Oop. A bit of a wander up there. Get that plastic. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to need to worry about that. I'll do that later. Just pick any. Get the plastic off there so I can get to the bolt. Oh, come on. seems to work when you want it to and that would be that small one again back onto there I threw it back in here I know I did probably that one that little one no it's a bigger than that little one I mean they're up and down, up and down like a yo-yo these things. That'll do. It'll get it undone. It's close enough, good enough. We're only stripping it apart. It's not even putting it together and talking it down. That's another size again. <laughs> Damn. Nope. What's that? That's the uh, no size. I can't see the size on that one. She's worn off. She's worn off. She's not even that size. So it goes to the 9mm. I reckon it's a 9mm. Where's that 9 I've got the glasses on, I just gotta find the bugger of a thing. 932nd, 516th, 9mm. I was right, the 9mm. I like it when a plan goes together like that. Um, pick the same size so we don't have to change it yet. Oh, I didn't pick the right size. Do, 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 do. Quickly scanning. This one looks like it. Oh dear. Nope. They're both the same. So we're going to go down in size. That one will do. It will do. Maggio. Hope everyone enjoyed that bit of a time lapse me cutting it all apart. Oh, good on me. All this piping steel. Uh, this one here, maybe copper. Not sure. That one is. One, two. That's 
this says talk bits Talkie Yorkies uh, that one there no he's a bit loose don't want to break him This is the quick part. Any more torque ones? Do, 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 do. There's a bolt already out of that one. Don't look like it over there. No, that's bolts, bolts, bolts. Don't know what that's held in, boy. Have a look later. Oh, I think we're finished with the torque for now. Struggle with our bolts. Our bits and pieces bolts. size again where have you gone not that one not that one always rumbling around in there aren't I mm. probably that I will give it a go see if it works nope that don't work so we've got to go down down to that fine neat size That's not it. I'm going to leave it on that when I find it. I think that's it. That's the finely size. I'll just change the end then. Yeah, I'll leave it on that. Just change that end. Do there, undo that one and that one. Do what I said. No, that's the one. Pull the bolts out, son. Pull the bolts out. Key. I didn't prepare for Allen keys. Got to go fishing for an Allen key now. I think I got the right one straight off. No. That one? Let's hope so. It is. Oh, 
I haven't got Allen key pieces that go into the tech yet. Haven't invested into those sort of things yet. I haven't had a need for it. It's much easier just to chop a long one off like this and put it in your drill. June's using the drill at the moment though. For the wire stripper. Sit them over there just in case we need them again. We'll probably will with all of that. Gotta pull all that apart yet. Knocking them out. smaller this one yep that's a seven mil oh what are you oh you stuck on the bottom oh how am I gonna get that out cut that so that, that there, cut the cable tie, cut the cable tie, hopefully it comes out, well that one's a bit different, spread the windings out, we might not be able to get that one off there straight away, we might have to cut the windings off the whole thing to get the center off because mm -hmm. there's no string on the bottom I would rather um, yeah I wouldn't be able to do that dear 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 what are we gonna do we may be able to do something look at this get the plastic out get that plastic there there's pliers grab that Wind it around, break it out, loosen that, grab the other one, none, none of the plastic goes in the copper anyway, into the number two, not out of these, comes out quite simple, I've already done a um, video of taking all of the windings apart, oh. Now, let's have a looky. It's this lot here that we've got to look at to allow that to slide out. If we've got to cut it, we'll cut it. We may have to. Get another pair of cutters. Another pair of cutters, right there. I hope everyone's learning things, me doing this. I don't explain much. Basically, it's like having search and destroy. I seek it out, destroy it, pull it apart. When it comes to a wash machine, it's a totally different thing. Um, I've got to do the research myself. Now, is that all cut in there? That's all cut in there on that side. I've got to do the other side the same.
got a plastic piece in the center that's why I can't get it off so if I cut the windings it should get bypass the plastic in other words go past it that to there that's that I wonder oh, I should be able to oh, I should be able to get that off now we'll do something different not usually what I'd usually do try it anyway wasn't going to undo any windings at the moment but this one's a bit different I have to mm. I might leave that two hard baskets doing a bit later hammer get a good hammer don't have to leave it till later uh -huh. success success ha ha got you out bro ha 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 can leave that till later now <laughs> Right, next one. Nope, smaller. That smaller one. Yep, that's the one. Oh, this is the one that only had three in it. The strange one. Do this small one. What's it going to give me? Allen keys. This one was out of a Dometic Waco fridge. So they're only a small one. That that way, yeah, that's only small. Might as well finish him off while I've got him in all the Allen key. No, nah, I'll do him later. Do him later. Bit tedious they are. Right, this one's Allen key again. Might hang on to that spring. Been looking for a spring like that. Got a mirror on my vehicle. I'm a white ute. Uh, that keeps wanting to wander in. It's supposed to have a spring on it, so I'm hoping that one will do the job. Put that one down there. I've already got one.
bet you this has got that funny windings. Nope. Next. Good news with the lake we are here, we, where we are here, uh, it's actually on the way down. They're pumping water out. It's not rising anymore. They're pumping it out, which is good. Back to the small one. Back to the big one. <laughs> up and down, up and down. Oh. oh, one of those again, is it? Hmm. Could do the same thing as last time. That's easy. Pull the plastic out. Got to get it first. Oh yeah, that's right. we've got to cut those. Mental block. Cut that. Roll them over. Cut the other one. Roll him over. Roly poly. Pull that plastic out. Make a bit of room. Pull the tie out. I think what we'll do is we'll just cut that centre one and um, give it a give it a light, gentle tap, tappy tap. Oh, got that out in a hurry. Straight in the trash. Right, screw driver down in there. Get that up there like so. Oh, cutters, cutterists. in that hole. That's that one. I'll give that a sweep up now. That's what I like to do with that. Sweep it all up. I'm not wasting it. I'm not throwing it in the trash. Went after the effort of getting it. Give it the love tap. You're not completely all through.
that's all through. Just hit it a bit harder, I reckon. Hit. Oh yeah, I'm seeing things flying that way. I think it's a bit of copper. No? Oh, geez, Dal. Better watch your back there. <laughs> Got things flying off this. Bits of cars flying off. <laughs> Better be careful. Damn, it's all good, it's all good. Didn't want to do this, but I'm gonna have to. She's just not coming out, this one. <clears throat> oh, that's off. Uh, where's me? I haven't got a pot for casting yet. I don't want to know ya. I better answer that call, everyone. Right. Got bloody dead. I just about got the whole thing out of there. The whole pit of cast. Well, we know how we're going to get that out of there. Put it in the vice and flog the hell out of it. That was that one. Now we're going to clean this mess up. Doo -doo -doo. Put that in the copper. for the old hands. That was messy, that one. Real messy. So we're back to the small one. Nope. The bigger one. Easy done. Do this. You get those stupid windings? Nope. You got that stupid windings? used to last
Ah, said the last one. Get under this stupid one. One I've got to pull apart just to get to it. Cut all the windings out. I might um, give that a snip. That's steel. It's not copper. It looks like it's copper. It's copper coated. Yeah, copper coated. Next one up. Not that one, silly. This one. straight out we've got to cut it we learnt from the last one Plastic out. Get all the windings in one hit. I think I've got them. No, I missed one. Uh, choice of tool. Let me make sure I get right down there. Don't do that with your own tools I will but I won't I don't trust you to do it I don't dare you to do it I should say oh, come on don't you cut I don't want you cut yet I think that's all of it. That side. Do it. Have a look. Nope. messy one that's got all that stuff right
see what sort of luck we've had. As we found out with the last one, it doesn't take much to, for it to hold on to. Give that a whack, see what happens. I'll whack it this way so it's not heading towards June. Lay down, mate. There's something holding it. There's something holding it. For sure, yeah, a couple of windings, look at that. Okay, the other side and have a look at it. No, nothing there. So no. Oh, come on, boy. Come. It's coming now. in the boom right that's all of our windings done so let's get in i'll do a time lapse of me pulling these apart um because the windings are all out these will take a fair bit of time to pull apart because i've got to sort out what's what i'll put it in a, some totes and buckets like this so you know how much i've got um because i've got a copper one down here so if i've got a little piece of copper pipe that's on the end of some of these um i'll put it in that so all right, um, I'll get them stacked all back up the top here and uh, we'll get stuck into it. All right, we've got down to the last one. Thought I'd take this along. I do apologize for all that long time lapse. It's just taken a fair while to get through it. So this is the last one of the batch. Uh, still got to work out how I'm going to get the uh, stator, which is a centerpiece off your motor, 
out of here. I just not sure how I'm going to do that, whether I punch it out or what happens there. Um, because some of them oh, I missed that there, I didn't take that off. Um, some of them haven't got uh, a section where I can take a pin out and that sort of thing. Now, what I've just done here, um, we've got copper washers in there as well, so I'm glad I did leave this one. Got a fair few copper washers out of it. Uh, where'd that go? There. Use that. Use that. No, yes. Use that. There's still a lot of oil residue in these too. So, you probably noticed my hands are all black and charred. I still haven't worked out how I'm going to get that piston um, out of there either. I tap it this side and it goes the other way. Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We've got movement. We do have movement. Uh, where are they gone? Over here? No. June's been here. Junie? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I need my needle nose pliers. <laughs> I need those, sorry. Push that out and I can get the rod off. It's an aluminium rod. And then I can push that out the head because that's a cast. Cast piston. In these they are. Um, they don't go that quick. They're not running all the time like a car motor where they could be a forge piston or anything like that or no, however, whatever they are. Right, still got to work that out and how to get that apart. That's just one thing I haven't worked out. We've got a bit of metal over here. But yeah, so far we've got a fair bit of metal there. Um, we'll get to and take this one apart now. Now, that would be the bigger one. I'll check this before I go any further. Yes, it is. So, that would be in here. 12. Now, come on. Do what I want you to do. You're not going to do what I want you to do, are you? No. Okay, this one's a lot different to the rest of them that I've done. Thought I'd leave this one to last. It looks like it's going to give me a headache. There's a bit of copper pipe there. Uh, so if it's going to give me a headache, I'll get my headache tool so it doesn't give me a headache. And that's the easiest way. It's just ordinary steel. This piece here is cast. It's been casted. Now we've got to get that little one. No, the bigger one. It barely fits that. Needs an 8.5. That's an 8 mil. Well, 9 mil would be too much. Give it a go with the eight. Nope. It's not big enough. We will try the, now it won't come off. There we go, try the nine. Mm. 
No one is too big. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Mmm. Bugger. Oh, I see why it's not going to come off. We got some locking tabs on there. Oh, I just noticed them. Get rid of the locking tab there. Now it'll be an eight. Get rid of that locking tab. Like they have in um, some Briggs and Stratton motors. They've got a locking tab. So we can go through now with the eight. No. There we go, we got magic. Come on, come on. Come on. Gotcha. Right, that's the little locking tab. What happens is that they put the bolt in like that and then they fold that up. They fold the end up. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. I'll just fold it up and then I'll put it up to it. When you've got it all together, the bolt sits in there like that and then that's tapped up against it like, really tapped up against it like so, so it doesn't create a turn when it's in there and it locks it in. So if that's to put Loctite in there and that sort of thing. And, if the Loctite comes loose, um, that's a reassurance. Now this is an aluminium cap. That goes in the aluminium bin. We've got a fair bit of that in there. Right, we'll get to and take the top off. Finish doing with the Allen key. Cut that off there first. Get it out of the road. That's our bit of copper. Put it down there. That's just a rubber cap. Pull him out of there. Rubber in the bin. This is a cast, I think I already said it, cast top. Um, how I know, it's got dimples on it. You can usually tell from cast to ordinary steel. There'll be a bit of uh, copper inside this. That had a copper tube on the outside, there'll be a bit on the inside. Come across one of them had a bit of brass on it. I thought, oh, sweet. So I put it in my brass bucket way over here, way over yonder. It's the only piece of brass I found out of it. Very time consuming doing these. But I find it's worthwhile separating a lot of stuff. Now, these tubes here, they're steel. It looks like they're copper, but they're not. Um, give you an example. Where's that grinder? Wipe the hands. Those sparks, those steers. Yeah, so if they spark, they're steel. I'll be chopping them off, getting it off the castings. That'll go into there. That's not going to have that piece of copper. I can't get that out. Bugger. Anyway, we're going to chop that off. Chop those tops off. I can leave it, but um, I'll put the cast in the cast. A little bit of steel that's left in there doesn't matter because cast is actually made out of st some steel anyway. So they put some steel in to make cast. So that's how it's made.
and I'm not worried if it catches on fire. Um, got plenty of fire extinguishers around here, but I don't think that would catch on fire. Not, that, not the amount that was there. Um, I've never had any of these catch on fire for what I've been doing, for the years I've been doing it. Alright, get back to the rest of this. Work out how we're going to get things apart. Get the reed valve off. Now a reed valve, what a reed valve does is it punches up and down to compress the air up and down, in and out. Um, your gases, that sort of thing. That's what a reed valve is. There's two pieces like it goes between another piece of steel like you had, we had. Uh, so when you've got it on there, it fluffs up and down like a like a leaf, you could say. It's as skinny as a leaf, even skinnier, down to the micro thou. Now, getting down to these, I'm not sure how I'm going to get them out. Because the piston won't come out the top. So, just bear with me, and um, I'll get to and try and work all this out. I don't know how I'm going to do it. That one's very loose. He might pop out that side. Oh, he's got a circle clip on that one. But this one's going to be easy. Take the clip off, and he should slide out. Do, 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 do. How the hell am I going to get that clip off there? I just don't know. Might have to go to the vise. I've already got one in the vise, but this one looks to be easy. We'll just take this one out. I was going to flog it out. Uh, we need a bit of light. A bit of light sun. Couldn't see. If I can't see, you people can't see. True, true, true that. Nope, you're not going to do that, are you? You are going to do that. Going to run around circles. Hmm. Well, well, well. That's not going to do my job. Where's that coal chisel gone? Get the old coalie out. That's done some of it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we've got it. By jolly gee, we got it. Did we? Did we get it? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! By jolly gee, we got it! Now we can get the piston out. That's how that one comes apart anyway. And that's all cast. So we put that in the cast one. Now to get this pin out. To get the alloy off there and the casting off the top. That's all I've been doing is, is a little pin right here. I'm just pulling it out with the neat wire cutters. And then I can just knock the pin out. Knock at the pin out. What am I going to use? I used, was using a screwdriver, but we're going to do the no-no and use the long nose needle nose. Yeah, they're gone. Grab the other side. Pull that out. Alloy and alloy. That into there, that into castings. That's that. Now I don't know how I'm going to do the rest. This this one's a bit different. They all are different, unfortunately. This one's got a weight on it, even a couple of weights on each side. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, because the piston is still stuck on there. There's no pin for it to come out. Hmm. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Might be just as easy because this rod here for the connecting rod to the piston is cast. It's not an alloy one. Um, I set some others aside that I've already got apart. 
the bash you've got an alloy casing on the top here I'm going to work out, try and work out how to get that off there I think I'd have to punch that that way I reckon there's still a fair bit of alloy here I'm not going to worry about trying to cut it off and get all that off but it might be best just to send it as it is to but I'll give one a go, like I got what, uh, one, two, three, four, so I'll give one a go, one out of four is better, this other one better than not trying at all, this one's got a cast one on it, so it might be a bit different, uh, it's a matter of how they are put together, whether they're a pressed fit or what they are, I just don't know. I could probably go and put put it in my press I've got in there where the uh, aluminium press is. Anyway, um, I'll get two, pull all these apart, then we'll get stuck into taking all the copper out of the windings, I suppose, and that'll add to all of our copper. But so far, that's what we have in our steel, uh, that's what we have in our cast, and a little bit in our alloy. That's what's come off it. So I'll get two off camera, I'll do all of this, um, then I'll be able to do this, we'll, we'll get two and do all of that, get all the windings out, see how much copper we get out of it. Down to our last one on doing these, I thought I'd show you how I've actually managed to get it all apart. This is what we've got so far in all of our cast, been a long task I tell you that, been able to get the shafts out pistons out and all that sort of thing, sort it all out, that's heavy that, it's got some weight in it, but anyway, let's get to, I'll show you how we've been doing it, this piece here, all you got to do, squash it flat, oh, I don't want to know you, oh, I don't want to know you, I'm not answering your phone, you can ring all you want, bye bye, Central frauds. Nothing worse. That's another one I'll get blocked. Right, give that a whack. Pulls that centre out, it does. Right, that goes into steel. Then, because it's already disconnected from the piston, the rod is. All we do is we put the main stator, main centre piece, I call it a stator, which is a centre, your magnet, itchy itchy, and grab it a good old hammy hammer and flog away, put it down the centre and away we go. Don't stand in the road. <laughs> I'm glad the bins there would have been would have kept going. Anyway, the, the crankshaft goes into there. This comes off here. Take the piston out. I don't think I'll be able to get the um oh, I may be able to get the connecting rod off there, but that goes into there. This part here, pull that out of there. So once I found out how to do it. Oh, like I didn't do no YouTubing, I just, you know, done it my own way, tested my, my own ability, getting it done. Now there's a little pin here, a little pin in there, so I've been using the side cutters, wire cutters, whatever you like to call them. I call them side cutters. Drag the pin out. It's only a little pin. Goes into there, then we should be able to push that pin out. That looks like a steel one. It is. Yeah, she's worn. Very worn, that. Damn. Anyway, the rest of this, that goes into the alloy, because it's an aluminium connecting rod. And this goes into cast. It's a cast piston. But that's how simple it is. So now we're going to be doing all of these. I'm going to get two before I start recording. 
undo all this strings that makes it so much easier for me to get the wire out and that sort of thing and um, yeah I just go along with a knife and I cut um, give you an example I cut the knots just cut the knot off there that there it should undo should should where is it? Where is it? Where's the one I need to do? Mind the hands being so grotty, it's a real dirty job. I should have thought about wearing plastic gloves. Here we go, I've got it. And it just unwinds. So easy once you get the right one. That can go in the trash. It's not going in with your your number two copper. Um, it's it makes it so much easier to get it all out. So that's what I'll do. I'll go around and chop all that off. That'll probably take me a oh, good half an hour or so to do that. So I won't be getting that on camera. Um, but I'll do a small sort of a bit of a recording for everyone to show you how I've actually been getting this out. I will be using the grinder, of course. Uh, I don't use do any other way. So simple to get that string off. It's not like a transformer where it's all glued on and that sort of thing. When you come down to these, it's so easy. So anyway, with all I do, I'm going to sit back, relax and uh, myself and get to and undo all these strings. Right, we finally got all the windings undone with all the string and everything like that. I've still got uh, two over here. This one here didn't have actually winding uh, the string on it. I'm going to use the cold chisel later on and um, I'm going to leave it aside so it's not going in this count. Uh, but yeah, she's a cold, it's a cold chisel type one where you cold chisel it out and then peel it out. This one here, she's a bit hard. Um, it has got, oh, you know, it's fairly, fairly hefty. There's a hammer. What I mean by hefty, it's got... Um, the glue or resin on it so it's going to be one of the hard ones so I'm leaving that aside at the moment I will count that in with what we get on how much I am going to be putting it all in this one tote uh, hopefully it works uh, got one mounted already as you can see um, and we're gonna do a small little time lapse on how long this actually takes We'll do a, where's my phone, on how long it actually takes. Go away, I don't want to know you. All these people that want me. <laughs> no, we don't want you either. Go away, turn off Bluetooth. That'll shut that thing up. Go away. Right, stopwatch. Where do I find that? Under that. Uh, stopwatch. Right, starting from now, um, yeah, we'll get it going.
Get to the last one, everyone. Fantastic goodness. Mind the smoke. So fan down in the background. Don't blow it away. Something you can just pull out with your fingers. I've done pretty well trying to keep all the plastic out. Been good. I did make one boo boo where I cut both sides on one. Probably noticed that in the time lapse. Slowed right down. I find cutting one side is a lot easier than cutting the both. You don't need, with these washing, ah, not washing machine motors, um, wash machine on the brain at the moment, uh, the fridge motors, you don't need to worry about punching it out. Some of the harder stuff, yeah, you probably do, um, like on other motors, I've got a few that I probably have to do anyway like that, but um, we have successfully gone through 28 fridge motors, well, not successfully, we have had our ups and downs with it, but um, we've still got two to go over there. But when you look at it, we only got one baddie. Aluminium wire. Where is it? Where do I start cutting it? Where do I start cutting that? Right there, that's got aluminium in it. Um, I throw that in with the scrap steel. So we have a fair bit there. You've probably seen me go and get this off June and uh, swap it all out we have a fair bit this is a 20 litre tote um, I don't know what it would weigh it's got some weight in it it's gonna have some more weight in here that's a lot of goodness Look at all that. That's certainly going to fill our wheelie bin up. Oh yeah. But anyway, that's basically how you go about getting the copper out, the cast out, the aluminium out. Um, we've still got the little bits and pieces of copper that we had down here. Mind the fan going there. All right, our little bits and pieces. I did have a little bit more than that. That shouldn't be in there. Um, I've already put it over in the steel section That shouldn't be in there. That's a leaf um, But yeah all in all Pretty good I'm liking the copper. It's worthwhile when you're getting all of that copper out. That's a lot of copper That is a hell of a lot of copper besides all your little bits and pieces My oath But anyway, if you've come this far in the video everyone Don't forget to smash that like button uh, more people smash the like button, more people get to see the video. And on that note, if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way if you do subscribe, you, you're going to get notified when we put a new video out. Hey doll, yep. you going good down there or are you going bad? You probably need to adjust it up. I've adjusted. Okay. Um, so yeah, on the flip side, we're going to... Knock this one out for you, and uh, we will both see you in the next one. Cheerio!